So uh, another way of uh, eating the cutlass fish is to uh, take the flesh off the bone, okay, make fillets, and it's really easy. Okay, so uh, we'll just take the head off first. Get rid of that. And get rid of the tail, which we're not really going to eat. And then the internal organs. It should come out very easily. I'll give the cavity a wipe. So uh, the the tacho have this um, this large fin. A dorsal fin which actually extends um, basically the length of the body okay and that's actually attached to um, a set of bones um, inside the flesh we're going to take that out over and repeat uh, the process. You should, having done that, be able to just pull this fin off the fish, like so. Okay. Obviously, we're not going to eat this part. So it's still attached here. I beg your pardon. Okay. And now um, it's just like dealing with any other sashimi. We make a guideline cuts on both the abdominal and dorsal side, and then just. Uh, just peel the, the fillet off like that. So let's do it. Okay, that's one fillet. Okay, that's fish now turned over. We'll do the same thing. Beg your pardon. Thank you. 
the other fellow. There's really not much left uh, on the central bone. Okay. We've got our fillet here. I'm going to take off uh, this grey uh, black lining of the abdominal cavity. Okay, there's also some um, bones in there as well. So. And we'll do the other side. So, uh, those are our touch of fillets. And these are ready for, for cooking. They contain no bones. And I am going to make pasta with them. Highly traditional Japanese dish, right? Okay, let's get to work. This is a really simple recipe, and you'll need just a clove of garlic, a quarter of onion. Okay, we're just going to bash the garlic slightly, on the blade, and then slice the onion uh, just into thin. Thin slices. It's not particularly important. Okay, now you'll need capers. Uh, these are just the standard capers in brine they have in my local supermarket. Some tomato puree concentrate. Again, this is just fairly standard stuff I got from my local. Pasta. Uh, I use uh, spaghetti, but again, the, the choice is yours. Uh, just follow the instructions for cooking. It says that there's 10 minutes to al dente. So uh, we'll put the water on and uh, set the pasta to boil first. That's good. what's going to take the longest. Put plenty of salt in. So we're not going to salt anything else. Uh, any other ingredients and we will use the pasta water uh, for the final sauce as well so make sure you use plenty of salt Right, you also need uh, some parsley. I got this out of my garden uh, this morning. And we'll just chop it nice and fine. Thank you. 
it and we'll just divide this in half. Okay, so half will go in the cooking sauce at the beginning and the half we'll just put on at the end um, as a garnish. Okay. So next we have our cutlass fish, our tachio fillets. And I would cut these into a diagonal strips like so. Just like that. And I think they will probably break up partly in the pasta sauce, but it's okay. To the other side as well. And I would also add at the very end uh, some lemon. I'm just going to grate some lemon rind uh, onto the pasta when it's done. So, see how the spaghetti is getting along. It needs more time to cook, I think. Okay, the pasta is nearly done. So we'll get to work on the sauce. So it's plenty of olive oil. First thing that goes in is the garlic. And I'll pop it in the onions too. So we want this at low heat. Okay, we don't want the onions to burn uh, or caramelize in any way. Uh, we want them to be in there for their sweetness, if anything. Just keep them moving. In the pan, keep stirring our spaghetti. It doesn't get stuck on the bottom of the pot. Great. Now we'll add a half parsley. And a teaspoon of capers. Possibly the smallest jar of capers in the world. And possibly the smallest spoon. We'll just get some. You might want to chop these up if you like. I don't think it's that important. We'll stick them in. It doesn't matter if some of the brine uh, gets in there as well. And we'll just keep it stirring. Mm. Just for a moment. Then we'll put in our uh, touch of it and sliced. Now 
check spaghetti once more. I don't want the spaghetti to be overcooked. Okay. Yeah. Very nearly done. I'll put the heat to low, actually. Now, turn up the heat a little bit, then add tomato puree. some of the pasta cooking water, maybe just one ladleful to start with. That's not bad. And I will add uh, some olive oil. And I will remove the clove of garlic. I think it served its purpose. Um, we don't want, oops, we don't want a really strong garlic smell. So uh, we just want that flavor but again we're not making a, a garlic pasta we're making fish pasta so that'll do nicely and now I will transfer let's get it uh, to the sauce so try not to splash too much okay before we drop some in there Most of it. Nice, 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 nice. Now we just want to mix the two together, the sauce and the pasta. You'll see the touch of uh, slices are kind of breaking up a bit, but it's all good. It's okay. That's it, we're basically done. So I'm going to uh, turn off the heat. delicious caper and fish tomato sauce over the top. Okay. Need a bit more. <laughs> right. Right. Putting the rest of our parsley on top. Okay, maybe that's probably enough. And then use the microplane. Put some lemon rind, lemon zest on here. The microplane is probably my only concession to hipster cooking. It just does the job really well, so I'll just pop some on. Mm. Oh, that looks great. Excellent. So there you have it. This is um, cutlass fish pasta, spaghetti uh, with tomato and capers and lemon. <laughs> 